Christmas. That's better. <laughs> I'm so glad you could make it. Grandma and I have been expecting you. She's been busy all day up in the cabin, baking turkey, pumpkin pies. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. I just love this time of year. All of the family comes home and people are just friendlier and happier. You know, that's the way Christmas should be. At least, that's the way I see it. A long time ago, there lived a man who taught us how to have that kind of spirit all the time. He was a special man. He lived a special life. He died a special death. Many wondrous things happened to that man. One of the most wondrous, I believe, was his birth. I'd like to tell you a story about the night that he was born. And there were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared unto them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly there were with that angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Peace, goodwill to all men. And when the angels had left them, they went and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. Later, wise men from the east came saying, Where is he who is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was born. And when they saw the child, they knelt down and worshipped him and offered their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Yes, many great gifts were given to that child, but he gave us the greatest gift of all, the gift of life everlasting. Isn't that a wonderful story? Well, I better get this firewood into Grandma before that fire goes out in her cook stove. She still has some baking she has to finish, she tells me. I'm so glad you kids could make it home for Christmas this year. I hope everyone can. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you for that wonderful gift, Grandma.